Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How's everything? Oh, yeah, good, good evening. Good evening, good evening Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Carlos. All right, so welcome back to another video conference, guys. Uh, I truly sorry about the two previous days that I couldn't be with you, but my uh, condition was like a little bit bad, so that's the reason why uh, another teacher has to show up in here uh, just to cover those two classes, right? But uh, we are here, and that's what it really matters, so... So guys, so how was your weekend? Was it good? Was it like relaxing? Was it bad? How was it? Most of us fin de semana. Why is everybody with the camera off, guys? Tired, Teresa, really? Tiring? You had a lot of work to, uh, to do, Teresa? Now, nah, okay, so I guess, yeah, I mean, you got a lot of things to do. So generally when that happens, right, uh, it's literally, really, really difficult for us. Okay, good. And uh, what about the rest? Emily, you, for example, how was your weekend? Fine. Fine? Yeah. Did you work? Eh, uh -huh. Trabajo los domingos. Trabajo. Un poquito pesado, pero bien. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can tell. Uh, that's complicated, right? Sometimes. Ah, but that's 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 good. I mean, the good thing is like you got a job, right? That's what it really matters. Okay, good. So. Guillermo, what about you, man? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Uh, what was the question? Ah, so how was your weekend? We're starting like something just to, you know, like start with the class. Mm, it was boring. Because I I have to work all the weekend. Ah, you gotta work, really? That's sad. Yes. You don't you don't have the weekends off? No. Okay, but you got uh good evening oh. teacher. Good evening, back. Yeah, I mean I'm back again. Kind of like uh sick, but uh we're here. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's this. Uh huh. Anyway, all right, good. So <sighs> let's start, guys. We got a lot of things to be talking uh tonight. Uh, we're gonna have a very interesting topic, like just to talk a little bit and uh, to discuss with a couple of questions and conversations that we're gonna be doing tonight. So let's just start with the attendance list. Give me one second. Adi Beatriz. Adi, 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 let me sit here. Okay, no, she's not here. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Brian Aldair. Okay, Brian. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Claudia Marcela. Mm -hmm. Claudia, Claudia. Okay, so she's not here yet. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, 
a Evelyn Karina. Okay, nice, nice. Graciela Saraí. Graciela, Graciela, Saraí. All right, so she's not here yet. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Irma del Tránsito. Okay, Brian. Irma del Tránsito. Okay, so Irma is there, but I guess she's working, supposedly. Uh, Jacqueline Yvonne. Ah, okay, excellent. Juan Carlos. Ah, Juan Carlos says that he had a nice shift, so he's not going to be uh, on here. Uh, Katia Maria. Ah, okay, Katia. Genia Maricela. <clears throat> Kenya, okay, so she is not here. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza, Maritza. Okay, she is not here yet. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Pedro Rigoberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, excellent. Susana Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. All right, guys, uh, before uh, starting with uh, the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, uh, I would like to start um, bringing back the topic that you were discussing uh, with the previous teacher, right? So that it was basically the beginning of this uh, unit number three that we are in right now. So what do you remember, guys, from the last class, the last topic that you were discussing? So what was the topic about, just to start with that? Do you remember the topic? I remember, teacher, the small talk. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the we, we, we see the, how we can use um, the word could and would to would. ask um, mm -hmm. polite request. Mm -hmm. Could and would, but you mean, uh, would you mind? Yes, would you mind and, and the mm -hmm. word could. Ah, okay, very good. When do we use could? Mm, for informal request. For informal request, could. Could. Mm -hmm. And would is more polite. It's a little bit more polite. Okay, good. In terms of formality, yeah, both are kind of kind of formal, but if you categorize the above, would you mind is a little bit upper, right? Uh, any other differences that you might find, guys, from could you and would you mind? Any other difference? Alguna otra diferencia que lograron encontrar? Uh, oh, yeah. From that structures? From those structures? Okay. In terms of it, I'm gonna place this thing. Give me one second, I'm gonna share this up. 
Okay, so and let's suppose on this side you got call you. I'm gonna write it down in here. Call you. Right, like this. Okay. Generally, the structure that we uh use to create questions like this is like if it is a yes, no question, you're gonna start with cool, right? Plus, plus what? Plus the subject. That in this case, the subject, it's like 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 you. Let's but let's put it like subject. Plus, plus what, guys? What do I need right after uh, the subject? I need the main verb, okay? The one that is going to indicate the action that I'm going to be asking about, right? Plus the main verb, I need a complement, okay? And after this, I got the question mark. So basically, this is the structure that you generally use when making questions using this structure. Could you, right? So this is like, like the way how you do it. For example, Oops, give me one second. Will you send the report to the boss? You see, could you send a report to the boss? So in that case, I got a formal question, right? In a somehow. Right. And this is like basically a request that I am doing. Right. Um, this is like the kind of questions that you were practicing uh, the last class. Right. So another one. Oh, you. What could you. Write an example for me. Okay, so check this out. And you got it like that, right? So that might be another example. So something in here uh, that you can identify, it's that this is like commonly uh, like the general structure or like the, the simplest structure that we use when asking questions using this structure. For example, if you got cool, after cool, you got the subject, right? Generally the subject, it comes with you. And then after the subject, it comes the verb. But the verb, remember, is in base form, right? In base form. This one is not in simple past, not in ING, not in, uh, in a future form. It's in based form, right? Good. So on the other hand, on the other hand, you got the other structure, which is called, will you mind, right? This was uh, the other structure that you guys were practicing. Okay. Uh, and if I want to uh, talk a little bit about the structure, how is the structure in this one? ¿Cuál es la estructura para este? De acuerdo a lo que estuvieron practicando. Can you guys tell me? What is it? Guys? Base formas I -E -I -N -G, I -N -G. Ah, so in this case, it goes with an ING. But let's just start over. Let's say, uh, will you mind? This is this is like the the name. Default way, all right? The starting of the question. Will you mind, okay, and in here, plus, plus what? What do I need right, right after this? Uh, subject. Actually, uh, the subject is this one, you. We have to add a... Compliment. A comment. Mm, okay, check this out. Would you mind plus what? What else do I need? If. 
Nope. No, we we have to you, use main bear? Uh, a bear. Main bear. ING continue. form. ING form. Exactly. We need a verb in an ING form. Right after that, we need a complement. Right? Plus the question mark. In this case, the question form. Okay, remember, guys, that in this case, you got in here, mind. Do you do you know that mind is a verb? Sabían que este esta palabra mind es un verbo. All right, eh, es un verbo. Y de acuerdo a muchas estructuras gramaticales, dos verbos juntos no pueden ir en forma base. Se acuerdan que hace poco eh, les hablé de eso, que dos verbos juntos nunca van en forma base. Por lo general, el segundo tiene sí o sí que modificarse. Y tiene dos formas de modificarse. The first one se puede convertir en un infinitive, que es algo que ustedes ya saben, ya estuvimos discutiendo anteriormente, right? Que es un infinitive. Generally, when the verb, uh, you add two, right? And the second form. Uh, that a bird can change is like transforming itself into a gerund. Y la otra función es que el verbo se puede convertir en un gerundio, right? That's the name of it. Es cuando generalmente le agregamos el ing al verbo, right? So, en este caso, hay una categoría de verbos, right? Que, como uh, siempre, funcionan de ambas maneras. Así que este verbo mind es uno de ellos. Este verbo, todo verbo que le, pre, que le sigue después es un verbo que obligatoriamente tiene que colocarse con ing. Right? E acá, el porque el siguiente verbo siempre tiene que ir con ing. Right? For example, would you mind, check this out, would you mind uh, what? Mm. Telling the boss about the problem. Check this example out. Would you mind telling? So you see, I got the bird tell with the ing forming here, right? The boss about the problem, right? Ah, ¿te importaría decirle al jefe sobre el problema? So you see, remember, will you mind es como, ah, ¿te importaría? That's what, that's what it really means, okay? That's, that's like how you can translate this one. Like, ¿te importaría? Right? And then the verb that you're going to use, uh, depending on the kind of question that you want to ask. Right? Good. Um, since it's something, guys, that you have already discussed, can you give me an example using this structure? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo utilizando esta estructura? Una pregunta, right? I don't know if you're going to write it down or if you're just going to speak, but I want one example uh, question, guys, right? Can you please uh, write it down or tell me? I'm going to be waiting for it. Let's write down one question using this structure. Okay, teacher. Would you mind covering my shift? Would you mind? Covering my shift. Ah, okay, good. Would you mind covering my shift? Okay, very good. Good question. Christina? Would you mind taking out the trash? Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Would you mind sending the report for me? Okay, very good, Rosalie. Good example. Somebody else? Mm, would you mind driving my car? Okay, excellent. Would you mind 
the order? Marking the order. Will you mind? Marking the order. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Making the order. Thank you, Evelyn. Somebody else? Any other example? about the rest guys Juan ha escrito en el chat teacher give me one second oh I got locked the chat uh, Juan says would you mind lending me the reports okay good good I'm very busy today, I'm here. Okay, Juan, thank you for letting me know. Okay, here you go. All right, perfect. So somebody else, guys, for the ones who are not uh, as listeners today. Pedro, you finished? Can you help me out with one example question, Pedro? Hello, teacher. Hi. Would you like to send in an email for me? Okay, okay. Repeat again. Would you like to send in an email for me? Okay, in este caso, Pedro, sería, would you mind? Would you mind? Como aparece en la pantalla, okay. Pedro. Okay? Would you mind? Okay. Luego el verbo, eliminémosle en la preposición to. Solo dejemos el verbo en ing, ¿ok? Ok. Perfect, perfect. Ok, mister. Uh, let me see somebody else. Alguien más. Susana. Hi, Susana. Long time without seeing you, Susana. Hace mucho de no verla, Susana. <laughs> Ay, teacher, sí, teacher, estaba ahí medio ausente, pero aquí estoy. That's cool, that's no cool. Sé. Do you have an example? Uh, would, you mean, would you mind reading a report for okay. the uh -huh. assistance? For the assistance? Okay, very assistance. good. Okay, very good. Would you mind writing a report for the assistance? Okay. There you go. Good. Uh, somebody else? I guess like the rest is more. Teacher, most... yo tengo una pregunta. Ah, Teresa. Eh, es que estoy un poco perdida, pero quiero que me ayude, por favor. Okay, eh, no ¿En qué contexto puedo usar el would you mind? Porque es como si te importaría. Exactly. Es como si un no tú no tienes problema o no tienes pro problema con ayudarme en esto. Correcto. Así es básicamente. Right. Es básicamente, ah, okay. eh, esta estructura es básicamente cuando usted literalmente está pidiendo un favor a alguien que le ayude. Ah, right. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Gracias. Y está siendo un poco más, más formal. Right. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. Que el could you o el would you. Exactly. Would you like it? Uh -huh. Would you mind? Would you mind? Esta es, es, es un tanto más formal que could you. Ah, ok. Yeah. O oh, el can. Oh, yeah. El can es como lo, lo más informal que como podemos. Como podés. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Gracias. Ok, no problem. Uh, let me see, Carlos Antonio says. Uh, 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 ok, cool. Go on. Wall siempre se ha utilizado. Para pedir como las cosas formalmente. Correctly. Ah, y el otro sería más informal, como de posesión, se podría decir. Yes, digamos que es, siempre es un tanto formal, pero si los ponemos a los dos en un contexto similar, will you mind es, es más formal. Right? Ok. Yeah. 
Would you mind if we had a little talk alone? Okay, uh, Carlos, the context is okay, solo que uh, aquí a la estructura cambia un poquito. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí ya lo estamos usando con un uh, marcal this. Ya es con un F, no con un ING. But it, the question is still okay, Carlos. Okay. Right? Um, example, would you mind no smoking in the house? Ah, okay. That one is good. Would you mind not smoking in the house? Uh huh. And actually, yeah. that's a negative question. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, let me see, Teresa, would you mind cooking the dinner? Uh, no, that's that's uh, Doris. Okay, Doris, yeah, that one is good. And Teresa says, would you mind editing this video? Okay, very good. Exactly, that's the way it is. Let me see, Brian says, would you mind coming to the meeting? Okay, very good. So basically that's the way how you guys can create uh, questions using this structure right in appropriate way, right? Good, remember guys, after mind, you gotta use a verb in ing form, right? In an ing form, there you go. Good, so I'm gonna stop sharing this for a while. Okay, and we are going to change into what we are going to be discussing like right now. But before moving on with this, guys, do you have any question related to that structure? Tenemos alguna pregunta antes de cambiar. Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esas estructuras? Something that you might not be like clear enough? Um, teacher, eh, quizá no una pregunta directa, pero Fíjese que yo quería hacerle un comentario. Yes. Eh, cuando usted nos hizo como un listado de oraciones, mm -hmm. el simple past negative, el simple present, past progressive, eh, present progressive, a mí me ha servido bastante esos ejemplos que usted nos dio para mm -hmm. poder ir ya como... Eh, Comprendiendo un poco más cuándo voy a usar solo el B, cuándo el ING, cuándo el was, cuándo el y todo eso. Entonces, no sé si sería ponerle trabajo extra, teacher, <ríe> lo que yo le voy a solicitar. <ríe> no problem, go on. Pero, pero yo creería que, bueno, por lo menos en lo personal, y creería que mis compañeros también nos serviría mucho, mucho. Si se pudiese hacer un, un, un cuadrito o una tablita donde mm -hmm. hayan ejemplos de oraciones en los diferentes tiempos que usted nos ha mencionado o que pues ya lo hemos podido ver de forma simple, negativa, progresiva, etc. Entonces, mm -hmm. eso, ese favor yo quería solicitarle, teacher, porque yo siento que que repasando un poquito eso, entonces ya también yo voy a, a, a ir entendiendo un poco más cuando, cuando nos pida, vaya, ahora vamos a hacer oraciones en paz, paz simple, por ejemplo, paz, simple paz negativo. Ajá. Dice, bueno, y para acordarnos de la estructura y todo eso. Le digo porque me surgió esa necesidad también. Primero porque yo cuando usted estaba explicándonos eso, yo dije, Ey, esto me parece interesante. ¿Verdad? Y, y, y extra a lo de la clase, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y también porque los días que, que usted se ausentó, eh, en la página 28 nos pedían ordenar palabras para crear oraciones, ¿verdad? Eh, y decía, en the simple past. Uh -huh. Entonces yo me fui a los apuntes, ¿verdad? Y entonces, ah, bueno, puedo decir, esta es la estructura, ¿verdad? Entonces siento yo que, que nos, va, nos va a servir pienso, ¿verdad? Que nos va a servir. Así que ese, esa sería mi, mi, mi petición, teacher, antes de que termine el módulo. No, no problem. Gracias. Eh, sí, eh, voy a buscar la manera de cómo hacerles un pequeño PDF con las estructuras más comunes. Les voy a poner like, like, la, la estructura 
ejemplos negativos y positivos para que lo vean. A... Lo que hemos, ajá, lo que hemos estado viendo, lo que tendríamos que saber hasta ahorita que vamos en el módulo 3, pues, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Uh -huh. uh, ok. okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to send it this, this week. Esta semana se lo hago, ok? Promise. <laughs> all right. There you go. Oh, no, it, it's no problem, all right? It's, it's good, right, to have some extra materials uh, just to continue the practice. That's good. That's really cool. All right. So if uh, there's no more question, guys, I'm going to show you something. Give me one second. Por cierto, ¿se acuerdan que les dije que uh, el did y el, el do, así como was and were, y la forma del verbo to be, eh, no eran los únicos verbos auxiliares que podíamos utilizar? Entonces, could y would, los que estuvieron viendo en la clase pasada, son verbos meramente auxiliares. Asimismo, el verbo que vamos a discutir eh, a esta noche. All right, which is this one, guys. A esta, a esta, a esta estructura, okay, de verbos, se les conoce, eh, tienen un nombre específico, eh, se les conoce como aus, eh, modal verbs, o verbos modales en inglés, modal verbs, right? Acá no nos vamos a ver todos, pero sí eh, una gran parte de ellos. Ya ustedes eh, estuvieran discutiendo el uso de could, que es uno de ellos, así mismo como would, la clase pasada. Así que ahora vamos a discutir este, que es should and should not. Estos verbos por sí solos no se pueden colocar en una estructura porque ellos no son verbos principales. Siempre necesitan de un verbo adicional. Right? Porque estos solo son verbos auxiliares. Okay? Have you ever heard about should before? ¿Han escuchado sobre este verbo antes? Should? Debería, sí. Exactly. Okay, good. Significa deberías. Right? Good. So, we're going to be discussing, guys, uh, the uses of it. Right? How to... Uh, use them in context in sentences, positive sentences, negative sentences, and sometimes in a couple of questions, right? So let's just start over. Uh, so what was like the most relevant that we got uh, to do like the rest of the class? Um, we got the review from the previous class, something that we just finished, right? In which you were providing a couple of examples related to the previous topic. Now we're going to uh, start with the uses of should and should not. Uh, I'm going to tell you the structure, how to create positive sentences, how to create negative sentences using the structure appropriately. Right after finishing the, with the grammar part, we're going to have a short conversation in the manual. We're going to go over the manual. And after that, we're going to finish a couple of exercises that are there as well. So. This is like basically uh, what we are going to be discussing tonight. So let's just start over, guys, with should. As you said, should means debería, right, in Spanish. So this is basically a short definition that I can say about this uh, verb. So Maritza, could you please be kind and read this one for me? Should it use it to make to suggestion and mm -hmm. give advice. Advice. There you go. Advice. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. So basically, should is used to make suggestion, guys, and give advice, right? Básicamente, should is usado para dar sugerencias y consejos, right? About something right, that you probably think that is good for the other person to do, okay? So basically, this is like the main use that we can find related to this uh, structure. So you got a couple of examples in here. So take a look at it. 
Uh, Rosalie, help me out reading this one. You, you should call your family. Okay, very good. You should call your family, right? So literally here I'm saying, ah, deberías llamar a tu familia, right? What am I doing in that case, guys? I am basically giving what? I am giving a suggestion, right? To do. That's what I'm doing, right? And how could we respond to that suggestion? Okay. In that case, uh, since it is a negative, since it is a positive statement of one, it depends. If it is a question, you can ask with the yes, I should, or no, I should not, or shouldn't in that case. Uh, I will explain a little bit uh, later how to create questions using that structure, okay? And I will let you know uh, the ways of answering to those type of uh, uh, questions uh, as well. Okay, so let's move in here. So take a look at this one. Evelyn, help me read it. I should work every day. Okay, I should work every day. Debería trabajar todos los días. All right, so basically, what are we giving in this case, guys? ¿Qué estamos haciendo acá? Dando una sugerencia o consejo, right? So that's what it's basically we are uh, doing in this case. Good. So take a look at this one. Susana, help me reading, please. Hi, teacher. Uh, the first one. Uh, the last one. The last one. The ultimate. Oh, the last one. Mario should go to the meeting. Okay, very good. Thank you. Mario should go to the meeting. Right. Good. Uh, something, guys, that you can identify here. Algo que podemos identificar acá es que si ven acá. You got you and you got should, right? With no issue. Pero acá ya tenemos una tercera persona, right? Y acá ya estamos hablando de un singular noun, Mario. Si ven, should no sufre ningún tipo de modificación. Ustedes si recuerdan en el simple present, por lo general cuando hablamos de una tercera persona, ¿cómo es que va a reaccionar el verbo? Ya, ah, se le agrega S, E, S, O, I, E, S, right? En este tipo de verbos, estos son un tanto especiales porque estos no sufren ningún tipo de modificación. They don't have any kind of modifications in third person. So in this case, uh, it's good in a somehow because in here we don't have to worry about, you know, like uh, be changing uh, uh, the verb or adding an S. In here it's just like Maria should or she should, or he should, right? With no problem. So like the one in here, right? Good. So basically, this is like the way how we can provide suggestions using the structure, okay? But now I'm going to show you guys how to teach the structure grammatically speaking. Check this out. In here, you have the structure according to the grammar part. And in a positive statement, guys, you're gonna have a subject, right? Remember that the subject can be any pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, or a proper noun like Guillermo, like Maritza, like Anna, right? Plus what? Class should, that in this case is the uh, auxiliary verb in the sentence. After should, you need the main verb in base form, okay? Luego de should, necesitamos el verbo en forma base. Remember that, okay? 
verbo en forma base. Plus what? Plus complement. Right? Más complemento. So basically, this is the way how we got positive statements using the structure. So we got an example in here. Guillermo, help me a reading. Mm, you should go home after work. Okay, very good. You should go home after work, right? Ah, deberías ir a casa uh, después del trabajo. There you go. Good. Uh, the next example, Carlos Antonio. She should greet her clients. Okay. She should greet her clients. Ah, ella debería saludar a sus clientes, right? Good. So let me see. Somebody else that might help me out reading this. Jesus Christ, everybody's like listeners in here. Doris, you there? Okay. okay. They should buy a car. Okay, very good. They should buy a car. Doris, is that a suggestion or advice? Esa es una sugerencia o consejo? What do you think? Un consejo? Mm, okay, it can be advice or it can be a suggestion, right? O debería también ser una sugerencia, right? Depending on the point of view that you might want it to see that, guys, okay? Good. So basically, this is the way how we can uh, create short positive statements using this structure, right? If you want, copy those examples because uh, then we're going to do uh, ours. All right, good. Let me know when you finish writing, please. Me hacen saber cuando hayan terminado de escribir. Porque luego quiero que escojan a un compañero de su clase. Y quiero que le hagan una sugerencia a ese compañero. Quiero que me escriban una oración sobre ese compañero. ¿Ok? For example, si yo le hago una sugerencia a que... Uh, let me see. Ta, 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 ta. Supongamos que a Jacqueline. Y le diga, hey Jacqueline, you should uh, turn on your camera in the class. Right, what am I doing in this case? I am giving a good suggestion, right? So in that case, that's what I do really want, guys. Cuando terminen de escribir esos ejemplos, quiero que hagan uno de un compañero de ustedes. Okay, se lo van a leer directamente. So, choose one name and write one example out, right? Using should. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish. If you got any question, if you got any doubt, please don't hesitate and tell me.
Necesito saber cuándo he terminado, ¿ok? Finish, teacher. Ok, perfecto, Guillermo. We're going to wait for your classmates. Nice, Teresa. Thank you. Solo una teacher. Uh, yeah, yeah, choose uh, one of your classmates and uh, give a suggestion, okay? Okay. But if you want to find more suggestions for that person, go on, no problem. Okay, but just to be sure, guys, uh, let me see. Graciela, you are not participating in the class right now. Necesito saber quiénes son los que están participando en la clase. Porque de todos los... ¿Cuántos conectados hay? Let me see. De los 20, solo tengo cuatro con la cámara encendida. Uh, let me see. Mm, okay, Christine is there. Rosalie is there. But uh, the, the, the Jacqueline is there. Graciela, are you there? Are you participating, Graciela, or are you busy? Busy, working, sleeping. Yo okay. estoy de la tablet, teacher, por eso no encendió la cámara. <laughs> Porque okay. se ve de la... <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> sí, dejé la lacto en, la, en el trabajo. Ah, ok, cool. All right, Graciela. Ok, no problem. Eh, no problem, Jacqueline. Ok, Graciela, thank you for letting me know you're working then. Uh, Juan is busy. Ok, Juan. Yeah, you told me in the text message. I, I read it on WhatsApp. Uh, Kenya, what about you, Kenya? You working? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, I guess Kenya is working as well. Be mm. sure. Yes. Um, in two minutes, I participate, teacher. Ya casi llego a la casa. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, Marvin. Okay. No problem. All right. So, Teresa is participating. Carlos is participating. Ah, uh, let me see. Brian, you're working, Brian? Ahorita ya entró unos cinco minutos, llego a casa, pero sí puedo participar. Ah, ok, cool. You're on the way home. Ok, ok, no problem. Uh, so, Carlos Antonio is there. Carlos Enrique is there as well. So, Katia, María, I think Katia is busy as well. Pedro has been participating. Uh, Claudia, Marcela. You there, Claudia? Let me see. Oh, creo que se conecta, pero sin audio. So, she's just not available there. Uh, so, Irma. So, I guess you're working, Irma. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So, I guess everybody has already participated uh, in the examples. And you guys have finished. Evelyn, I'm going to start with you, Evelyn. Uh, read the suggestion and tell me who's the suggestion for. Everyone should turn on the camera and pull up. Ah, you did it, a general one. Okay, everyone should turn on the cameras on. Okay, very good. Good example, Evelyn. Super nice. Okay, great. Uh, ah, you're on the way home. Okay, Irma. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, all right, Evelyn. Thank you. Guillermo. 
read yours, mister. Um, my suggestion is for Karina. Okay. Karina, you should eat tacos tomorrow. <laughs> you should eat tacos. Okay, cool. Who's Karina? Man? Where is Karina? Karina, Karina, Karina. I am in Karina. It's like. Yeah. I am in Evelyn Karina. I was looking at it. Where is Karina? <laughs> okay, good, Guillermo. Good. Uh, Susana. Read your example and tell me who's the example for. Okay, my. Como le digo, my qué? Mi, porque no es pregunta, ¿qué es, dice? Ah, uh, it's a positive statement. No, uh, just tell me the name of the person and tell and tell the okay. person the suggestion. Hey, Christina, you should invite me to a coffee after work. Ah, so maybe, you should maybe. <laughs> okay, good, good. You should invite me to a coffee after work. Cristina, you pay attention, Cristina. Take notes, Cristina. No está, no la veo. Se está escondiendo. Cristina, are you sleeping? <laughs> no, yeah, she got the camera off like, like for a while, so probably she's busy. No <laughs> me quiere invitar a café. Exactly, se está haciendo, por eso es, no la quiere invitar. <laughs> Así no, es guess. la vida de cruel. Exactly, I guess she's not there. I am in, in talking about, uh, talking about that, uh, this <laughs> other person. What is the name of this other chick that works with you? Uh, Abby, I, has, I haven't seen Abby as well. That's weird. So probably she's just like uh, uh, with issues with her, her mother, I guess. All right. But thank you, Susana, for your uh, example. Uh, now, Maritza. Who's the example for Maritza? Susana, check Sorry, that out. Teacher. Ahora sí, I'm Abby. Here. And she turned on the camera. Listen, diciendo sorry. This Teacher, estoy haciendo mil cosas al mismo tiempo. Esta semana es nuestra feria española. Y entonces estaba con mis compañeras de primer ciclo, segundo ciclo. Por eso Ali no se ha conectado ah, porque está trabajando para esa bendita feria. Ah, ajá. Y estaba con ella, ahorita. Por eso, es señorita que, es que, es que ¿Y usted le cree? Con... No sé. Me, me cuesta, sí, porque como... A la está... prueba me remito. Le mando estaba... capturas de pantalla a los chats. Ah. Es que alguien le estaba dando una sugerencia por ahí, entonces sí. No me una... quiere invitar a café, es lo que pasa. That's true. Es That's true. Modo, si yo la invito. Te la repito, sí, teacher, para que vea que no es broma. Yeah, ¿Me, me oíste? A ver, no, es que sí oí que dijiste mi nombre, pero no oí after work, no sé qué dijiste, va. Hey, Christine. You should invite me to a coffee after work tomorrow. Ya le agregué Ay. el mañana. <risa> tu morro no había dicho. <risa> ya ve, ya ve. Good, Good example. Ok, there you go, Cristina. All right. Good. Uh, Maritza, what about yours? You should relax a little. You should relax? <risa> the, the suggestion is for me. <risa> ok, Maritza. <risa> I'm relaxed, Marisa, but I was not that relaxed last last weekend. I mean, last week actually. Ah oh, man, it was like like so so bad weekend at the end. But good example, Marisa. Thank you, Rosalie. What about yours? Um, a Katy, pero está de oyente. Pero se lo voy a decir. Yeah, man. La va a escuchar de algún modo. <laughs> Katy. Should get to work early. <laughs> Katy, uh, Maria de Leon, you should get to work early. I know you are not paying attention to what I'm saying, Katia, but yeah, your 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 coworker is 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 burning you. 
<laughs> okay, Rosalie, thank you for your uh, sentence. All right, uh, let me see who else. Jacqueline. Let's read yours, Jacqueline. Okay. Juan, to call an hombre. Okay, but a cual Juan? Porque hasta yo me llamo Juan. Juan Carlos. <laughs> ah, ah, Juan Carlos. Okay, good. Let's read it again. Juan Carlos, your car and hombre. Hombre, sombría. You should... Uh, Deberías cargar una sombría? That's what I'm trying yes. to say. Sí, es de llevar. Uh, Okay, you should take an umbrella. An umbrella. Okay, all right, you should take an umbrella one. All right, good. One is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, forever. <laughs> yeah, he's just a listener. Oh my God. Anyways, it, it, it is it is uh, it, it's been raining by 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 your place, guys. Está lloviendo recientemente por donde ustedes viven? No, teacher. No. Really? Mm. Okay, good. I thought it was raining. Acá solo una vez. La pasada sí llovió. Acá solo ha llovido una vez en todo esto, todo esto que va del, del, del año. Que hemos... Ahorita dicen que El Salvador está todo en modo San Miguel, así bien, super hot. Es que normal, es like normal. Yeah, but it's like super, super melting. But anyways, that's part of the, the weather, right? Okay, uh, thank you Jacqueline for your example. Now, Cristina, you did yours. Sorry, teacher. Dígame, perdón, perdón. Uh, did you do your example? Um, no? Ok, cool. Yeah. Quiero que escoja una de sus compañeras y le haga una sugerencia utilizando should, ok? Good. Luego vuelvo con usted. Uh, let me see. Who else? Doris, did you participate already? Doris, are you there? Hmm. I guess she's not there. Uh, Teresa? Hi, teacher. De hecho, a Doris le iba a decir. Doris, <laughs> you should wake up early. And you should wake up in the class as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> All right, so probably she's busy. That's why she doesn't answer. Okay, great. Carlos Rivas. Okay, teacher. Uh, Juan Fuentes, you should go for walks more often. You should go for a walk more often. Okay, All right. Okay. There you go, good example. Thank you, Carlos. Now, let me see, Brian. Uh, Marvin, you should have early lunch. Okay, good. He doesn't like eating lunch? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Now, Marvin, I mean, Marvin is there. Okay, Marvin, give me your example, brother. Um, puede ser tres personas. <laughs> okay, good, let's go. Hey, es lo único que se me ocurrió, teacher. Um, Cristina, Susana y Adi, should go on vacation. <laughs> Aplica o no. Should El go. Teacher. Ok, ok. Por de, como mucho trabajo, no sé. Yes. Como estaba escuchando que tenía mucho trabajo. Exactly. Sorry, teacher. Yo escuché a Marvin algo cortado. No le comprendí la pregunta. Actually, no es pregunta. Es una, de hecho, es un consejo que le están dando. Ah, una sugerencia. Perdón. Ajá, sí, read, sí, sí. Read, read, read again, Marvin, so she can listen to you. Okay. 
Cristina, Susana, and Adi should go on vacation. <laughs> Definitivamente. Esa pregunta nos puede hacer llorar. Martin, malo. Yes, I have a vacation, but it's an. ¿Cómo se dice? Year. Este? Year. Yearly vacation. In, in the month de June. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we have three days. Three days, Susie, but two days. Four, but two days. The weekend. The beach. Uh -uh. Two days in June. Go to, uh, we are go to the, the Cameroon. Okay. <laughs> Así que vamos a tomar en cuenta su sugerencia, Marvin. <laughs> I have a good suggestion for you, Marvin. Okay. You see, that's cool, man. At least you're gonna have like somehow uh, vacations. Just imagine my next vacations because uh, in your case, guys, I think on uh, August, the first week of August, you got the whole week off, yes. right? Oh. Yes. You got the whole week off. I mean, that's cool. And here, since um, the holidays is mostly for San Salvador and, and those areas, in here, we don't have those type of vacations. The only day off in here is August the 6th. And that's it. Only one day. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is like that. Uh, for example, next month, I'm just going to have one day off. Uh, Father's Day, which is Saturday. I'm not gonna work that day. And then uh, only days off like, like uh, what? Cemetery's day, uh, death day, uh, the September 15th, only holidays actually. Uh -huh. And uh, when the year finishes on um, uh -huh. December. October 12th? Not actually, I got, class. I got classes that day because uh, here is not a day off, October 12th. No. <laughs> the Hispanic day. Hispanic day is called? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, but in that case, in the place yeah. I'm working, in the place I work, I don't, have, I don't even have that day. Um. Even on Holy Week, the past Holy Week, I worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I just had Thursday and Friday and Saturday is off. Yeah, it's complicated. In the year, so basically in the year, I only had two weeks off. So basically, yeah. mis vacaciones solo son dos semanas al año, right? Las del, la, la semana del 24 y 31 de diciembre. <laughs> that's funny. But wow. anyways, that's a place, right? That's a, nosotros, a fin de año tenemos un mes. De ah, como yeah. el 10 de diciembre al 8, 9 de enero. Y uh -huh. las tres semanas, ¿verdad? No, dos semanas. Semana Santa y Agosto. Ah, y los cool. días feriados. Y todos los puentes que existen. No, <risa> el, algunos que tenemos se suerte. Algunos, sí cabal, tenemos cabal. suerte. Cabal. Por That's ejemplo, nice. desde el 22 de junio vamos a descansar 22, 23, 24 y 25. Jesus, that's good. For the day, Teacher's Day. For the Teacher's Day. Teacher's nice. Day. You know, June is my favorite month, man. June is my favorite month. Why, teacher? You should guess why. Uh, uh, June 17th, Father's Day, right? So I got a baby, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm celebrating my second year as a like like father. Uh, on June 18, one day after that is my birthday. So on June the 22nd, Teacher's Day. So I got three days of celebration in a row. <laughs> ah, okay. So yeah, why, why, yeah, I mean, it has nice, nice. one of my favorite months. Yeah. And of course, December because of the panels, right? And everything. That's cool. 
<laughs> All right, so who's missing, guys, with the examples? Claudia, you participated? I know Claudia's not participating, actually. She got off. Uh, Pedro, let's read your suggestion, Mr. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yvonne should finish homework tonight. Wow. Yvonne, you should finish the homework tonight. Por cierto, sí, antes de irnos, ahora voy a revisar la plataforma cómo vamos. Se las voy a mostrar para que veamos cómo vamos el avance, ¿ok? Ya, supongo que ya todo, semana dos, está completo todo eso. So, I'm expecting from that, you guys, ¿ok? Y si no, guys, we need to finish that, please. Right, Teresa? <laughs> she got a, a crying face. Uh, let me see who else. <laughs> I'm going to check that, Teresa. I'm going to check that. All right, so Carlos Antonio, did you participate, Carlos? No, teacher. Okay, let's go. Uh, Jacqueline, you will go to the cinema this weekend. Ah, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Let me see. Thank you, Mr. Now, Juan says, uh, sometimes in so yes. Oh, Jacqueline, you should practice the regular verbs. Okay. Ah, ya ven, buena sugerencia. Deben practicar los irregular verbs, he says. Okay, that's nice. Debo suponer que la lista que les mandé, pss, ya llevan la primera página prendida, right? Everything, okay. All right. So, who hasn't participated, guys? Any other person that might be uh, missing with the participation? Okay, I guess everybody has already participated. So let's try to move on with this, guys. Now, so we were discussing about positive statements. Now let's jump into negative statements, right? So, and it should not in this case, should not. Should not, que también lo podemos eh, unir, right? We can join both words into like this, guys. Y acá lo íbamos a llamar shouldn't. Cuando va contractado el should plus not, eh, la pronunciación sería shouldn't, ¿ok? Remember that, guys. Shouldn't, okay? Good. So, let's move on. Marvin, help me reading the definition about should not, please. Shouldn't is used to give a suge suggestion. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. About sometime that something. is not Something that is not appro appropriate. A appropriate. Repeat. Appropriate. Okay. Very good. Appropriate. Appropriado. Right. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. So as it says in here, guys, should not or shouldn't is used to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. What does it mean? So basically, it's like when we give recommendations about something that you are sure that is not good, right? Aquí es cuando ya damos consejos o sugerencias sobre algo que no es apropiado o consideramos que no es apropiado, right? So that's like the way how we use it in here, right? For example, guys, uh, let's start with the structure. Take a look at the structure over here. Guillermo, help me out reading the structure, please. A structure is subject plus shall, should plus mm -hmm. um, not base form of the verb plus complement. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo. So that's the way how we got the structure, right? 
Oh, uh, it's missing plus the base phone of the predator. Me falta una, un símbolo de más ahí. Uh, for example, guys, take a look at this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me one second. I need someone that has not participated that much. Carlos Enrique, help me reading this example, please. Darío, should, should not use many emojis in his emails. Ah, okay. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails, right? I mean, Darío no debería de usar emoticones right in sus correos okay good so what is that guys is basically a suggestion that we're doing about something that is not appropriated right good so let's take a look at this second example um teresa the teacher Okay, help me a reading, please. Okay. Helen should not speak so loudly. Okay, very good, right? Helen should not speak so loudly. Oh, Helen shouldn't, if you want to make it contracted, right? Shouldn't speak so loudly. Good. I don't know if you got another example in here. Yeah, we got another one in here. Uh, let me see who else. Carlos Antonio, tell me I'm reading this one, please. Gab Gabriel, shouldn't tell sexing jokes. Okay, jokes in this case, jokes. Yep. All right, thank you, Mr. Gabriel, shouldn't tell sexist jokes right very good so basically this is a suggestion about something that you consider guys is not really good right aquí es básicamente cuando damos sugerencias sobre algo que nosotros consideramos que no es muy bueno hacerlo remember okay good so Copy those examples. When you finish, guys, let me know because we're gonna create a couple of examples uh, by our own. Oh, once done, una vez que estén hechos, quiero que me hagan un ejemplo sobre ustedes. ¿Qué no deberían hacer ustedes? About something that you consider that you are not doing correctly, correctly, but you're doing it anyways, okay? Let's do it, guys. Let me know when you finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rosalie. So we're gonna wait for your classmates just to finish to start. Finish, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right, so I guess most of you guys have already finished. So let's start with that. Uh, Maritza, 
Can you please help me out reading yours? You shouldn't go to bed too late. Okay, you shouldn't go to bed too late. Sabe que esa sugerencia va para mí directamente, right? Me queda como anillo el dedo, como dicen. <laughs> but anyways, that's part of the work, right? So I got to go to bed like very late and wake up very early. All right. Thank you, Maritza. Maritza, tell me who's the next participant. Escoja por mí quien va a participar después, okay? Uh, Cristina. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Cristina. Hola. Um, perdón que estoy en varias cosas, Tiche. Dígame, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Oh. Tell me an example about a suggestion that you... Ah. See there. The you're show not. not. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, For example... I shouldn't be working right now. Para Susi voy a hacer una. Puedo. Yes, okay. No. Mm, Susi. Eh. Ya veo yo diciéndole Cristina a la Susana. Ya como que, Susana, <laughs> you shouldn't give me more homework. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. let's go. A ver, Susi, you should show don't be late for the office. Ah, uh -huh. okay. You, sh you shouldn't be late for the office, Susana. Yes. Be late? Estar tarde. No debería llegar tarde a la oficina. In the morning. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't go late in it's my office. But Maritza tuvo la culpa. Ella dijo que yo hiciera un ejemplo, entonces me salió del alma. Entonces ni modo. Oh my god. Ni siquiera me ve todo el día porque se olvida que existo. ¿Cómo tiene derecho de decir que llego tarde a la oficina? Me quedé con, con los recuerdos. I remember. No, no, teacher, pero solo por eso voy a hacer la mía, teacher. Ok, let's go, let's go. Pelea, yeah. pelea, pelea. <laughs> Uh, you shall not. Ay, ¿qué le digo, tío? Es que inventar, se da cuenta, se da cuenta. <laughs> you should not. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo le digo? Aparecer, teacher. Aparecer, ¿cómo así? ¿A que aparece solo cuando? ¿Cómo le digo eso? Ah, ¿No deberían sure. aparecer solo cuando? Ah, you should not show up. Should not. Show up. Should not. You should not show up. You should not show up. Uh -huh. You need. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, ¿Cómo se dice impresiones? Impressions. Ah, yo pensé que Impression. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, you mean impresiones de, 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 de fotos. De imprimir. De la imprimir. Ah. Documentos. Ah, for printing. Printing. Ah, Documents print. for you. <laughs> Pelea de oficina, teacher. Solo en la oficina de ella hay para sacar así en sofato. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ya no voy a ir. Solo así I aparece. Promise. I promise. Ya Mientras no, tanto no la veo. Jamás. Solo oh, cuando quiere impresiones aparece. 
Jesus Christ, no, pues no, ya veo que no. Solo, solo, solo así puede llegar. <ríe> ok, ok. There you go. Arvin. Let's read, brother. <ríe> eh, yo lo he hecho para otra persona, pero bueno, como dice que es de uno. I, should, I shouldn't drive fast. I shouldn't drive fast. Oh, my God. Esa va para mí también. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marvin. Oh, my God. Okay. Evelyn, tell me a reading. Yours. Uh, Guillermo, you shouldn't be asking for taxi. Ouch. <laughs> okay, thank you, Karina. Now, Marvin. I know my means is just participated. Rosalie? I shouldn't bite my nails. I shouldn't bite my nails. Okay. Oh, in this case, you make my nails. Do the nails. <laughs> okay. Yeah, make the nails. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guillermo, read yours. Mm, it's about a um a classmate or it doesn't it's matter. About, it doesn't matter, brother. If you want to make it by yourself, if you want to make it to your uh, classmate, that's up to you. Okay, uh, Mateo should not wash the dishes. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Uh Jacqueline. Um Quiero ver, es Pedro Chulnok drink much coffee. Ah, ok, cool. Pedro, ¿hay un answer, brother? ¿Quieres responder? Yes. <risa> no lo entendí bien. Que no debería tomar mucho café, dice. Ah. <risa> ¿Quieres drink much coffee? <risa> ok. Okay, let me see, Graciela, it's not here. Doris, you there, miss? Okay. I should, I should not eat fast food. Ah, okay, okay, good. Esa va también para mí. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't eat fast food, but ah, it's good, man, it's good. All right, Teresa. Ahorita, teacher. Eh, Marvin, you shouldn't, shouldn't, I no puedo decir, you shouldn't drink soda. Listen, shouldn't, shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Ah. Marvin, you, should... you shouldn't drink soda. Okay, Marvin, pay attention, brother. That's a good advice. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you, Teresa. Now, Carlos Rivas. Carlos should not to talk a lot. <laughs> Carlos should not talk a lot. Which a Carlos? Lot. Which Carlos? You or Carlos Antonio? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice ambos, teacher? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Okay. All right. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Now, Brian. You shouldn't be home later. Now, okay. Very good. You shouldn't be home late. Thank you. Now, Carlos Antonio. Hey, teacher. Uh, shouldn't on the cell phone while driving. Mm, okay, good, good. That's an out, out of uh, advice. Okay, good, good. Let me see. Pedro, let's read your mister.
Pedro, are you there? Mm, I guess he's not there. All right. Uh, so let me see. Not so much. Okay, let me see. Juan says, you shouldn't hit a woman. Okay, good one. That's a good example. All right. Uh, and uh, you participated, right, Rosalie? I guess she has already participated. Ah, comenzó a llover por su área. Okay, good. I mean, that's cool. When it starts raining, lo bueno de cuando llueve es que no hace, no hace calor, pero se nos va la señal. That's like bad. All right, but anyways, let's keep going, guys. Let's continue. Now, what I want you guys to do, it's like, uh, let's open up your manuals because we're gonna go straight there. I want you to go to the manual specifically to page 31, right? Page 31. Here specifically. All right, it says uh, students will be able to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Okay, guys, and let's start with this short question that we got over here. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? En sus empresas, bueno, sus lugares de trabajo, ¿existe algún tipo de regulación sobre la conducta de sus empleados? O sea, de ustedes. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, good. So you got to be regulated, right? Good. So guys, can you tell me at least one, it says here three, but at least one example of unacceptable behavior in your company. Podrían darme un ejemplo de un comportamiento inaceptable en su empresa? Something that you consider, guys, it is not appropriate. Think about it and tell me. Uh, I think, teacher, in my in my company, um, should not speak. Uh, too loudly, too loud uh, to the clients. Mm, okay, okay, cool. That might be an, uh, uh, a good example of a not acceptable behavior, right? Okay, very good, Guillermo. Thank you. Say bad sure. expression. Okay, Juan, bad expressions. Uh -huh. uh, we shouldn't eat during working hours. Oh, okay, that's another one. You shouldn't eat uh, during working hours, yeah? Or you shouldn't be posting memes, right? <laughs> Sharing memes on, uh, while you're working. <laughs> okay, good, that's another one. Something else, guys? That you consider is not acceptable. And uh, in our case, it is unacceptable um, to, no sé, ¿cómo se dice? Mistreat. Mistreat. Mistreat on students. And a student, a okay. Student. Yeah, I mean, that's good, that's cool. Dealing with students is so difficult, especially in institutions like that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, Susana. Somebody else, guys? Teacher, ¿y cómo se dice eh, que no se debe sustraer eh, producto, producto sin permiso o como robar, por decirlo así? Uh, basically, uh, that's a steal, yeah. 
uh, steel product. Okay, steel product. I ah, steel good. product. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, it shouldn't be like uh, the product shouldn't be stolen right from the from the company. Okay, Rosalie. Good. So basically, all right, um, most of the companies that we work for, they got regulations about those kind of unacceptable behaviors, right? All right. Good, guys. So in here, what we got is a short conversation. This is a mini small conversation, right, related to the structure that we have been practicing, guys, right? So this short conversation is between Claudia and Raul, it says. Damn, it's like super short. Uh, what are we gonna, What are we going to do? Let's read it for a while. Then we're gonna go on a practice, and then we are going to try to finish a couple of exercises that we got in there. Okay. It says, listen to your instructor, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. It says, Claudia, listen. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? It says, Raul, you're right. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. He should not shut in a meeting. Claudia says, absolutely. Absolutely. That's not polite. That's not polite. Right? It says, Raul, he should answer. He should answer his messages after the meetings, after the meetings. And we should not, and we should not talk about him, talk about him, that's not polite either. That's not polite either. Claudia says, agree, agree. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. All right, from here guys, in this mini small conversation that you got over here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? The ad added. Adhering, dijo. Addicted. Addicted. Okay. Addicted, right? Good. Um, the last one word. Instead. Is, yes. Instead, eh, eh, se puede traducir como en vez de. Okay, gracias. Very good. Somebody else, guys? Yes, teacher. Uh, that's not polite. 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 That's not polite either. Yes. That's not polite either. Es una expresión que significa tampoco es educado. Either mm -hmm. significa es como tampoco. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. He should answer his polite is educado. Yes. Any other uh, question, guys? Doubt? No? Okay, perfect.
All right, let me see the way someone else is the behavior, the company express behavior from employees interrupting others. Not this is like part of it. Okay, I'm gonna explain something, guys. Listen up. We're gonna practice the short conversation for a couple of minutes. Okay, then we're gonna come up in here and uh, we are going to move out to the second option. Pero creo que esto los voy a explicar mejor. Les voy a mandar primero nada más a practicar esta pequeña conversación. Necesito que me practiquen este vocabulario que tenemos acá. Eh, y luego vamos a hacer lo demás, ¿ok? Good. Les voy a dar cuatro minutos para que practiquemos esta short conversation, ¿ok? Good. Uh, then we're going to come back in here. We're going to practice that. And then we're going to go over uh, the breakout rooms again. And we are going to finish these suggestions that we got over here, ¿ok? That's the way how we're going to be doing. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And uh, mm -mm, I need to know who's active for this practice. Let me see. Manually. So cut this not here. So. Mm -hmm. Doris, usted está participando, ¿correcto? Si puede. Doris, are you there? Okay, so give me one second. Okay, good. So I need you to go to practice this, guys, uh, for a couple of minutes. Then I will let you know when to come back, okay? Let's accept it, please. Uh, Doris, are you there, Doris? Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Sorry, me levanté un momentito. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Solo quería confirmar. Okay. All right. Talk about him. Does not polite edit. Every we shall help him inst inst instead instead. Tiene el micrófono pa. <laughs> Con razón ya rato estaba hablando. Ah uh, instead okay. instead. instead. Yeah. Uh, let's start and, and, and me. I can't believe it's Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. You're right. He shall not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. Absolute. That is not polite. He shall answer his message after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite. E either. 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 Yeah. I agree. Either. We either. 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 Yes. Okay. I agree. We should help him instant. Instead. Okay. Instant. Instead. 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 E Agree. See, agree. 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 
-hmm. agree. Okay. Agree. Instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I can't believe if Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. We shall help him in, in state. Okay, sweet. Um, hi, can we did it? Robert is a dedicate to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He shall, shall not sat in a meeting absolutely that is not polite he should answer no teacher Hi. teacher eh, la última donde dice donde está claudia es agree we should help Helping instead. Instead, yeah. All right, okay. And we will help him instead. Mm -hmm. Instead. Instead. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. To his pong. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messenger after the meeting. And we should not talk, talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should hang him instead. We should help him stay instead. 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 Okay, very good. Instead. Nice. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not. I agree. We should help him instead. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta. ¿Cómo era que se pronunciaba polite? Polite. Polite. Es verdad. Polite. Pues sí, igual y... era. <risa> y polite. la instead, la última. Instead. Oh, palabra, instead. Instead. Instead, I think we should not. No, I agree we should he in instead. Okay, I agree. Oh, oh, agree. We should help him instead. instead. I think oh. we should help in instead. Instead, instead. Okay. I can't believe. Believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. If yeah. Robert is addicted to his phone, did you see him? Uh, y la, aquí se pronuncia, diga, en la parte de Raúl, you're right. Así, no. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're right. right. You're right. Ah, okay. You're right. Should not chat in a meeting. Mm -hmm. Also, solo ti, te is to pilot. No, como era. No. Es verdad. Absolutely, that's not polite. 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 <laughs> polite. Absolutely, sure? that is huh? not polite. Okay. Mm -hmm. He should answer his message after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. Does not polite either. Así, ¿verdad? Either. Mm -hmm. Either. Either. Okay. Agri will show his 
he's in instead. Okay, we should tell him instead. Okay, very good, guys. I need to uh, to to listen to you in the main section, okay? Ahora bien, nos quiere escuchar en la sección principal. Así que, vámonos. Bueno. Where is everybody, people? You there? Yeah, everybody's coming back. All right, so I'm gonna share. This and I used to start over. So, Carlos Enrique, who were you practicing with? Ana Cristina. Okay, cool. I want to listen to you both. Let's let's start. Okay. You okay. start, Ana. Yes. Okay. Uh, Raul, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not tell about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, very good. So thank you, Mr. And thank you, uh, Christina. You did it excellent. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Now, Susana. Uh, Rosalie. Uh, okay, so you work with Rosalie. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in, in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him stay instead. Instead, okay, very instead. good. Instead, thank you, Susana and Rosalie. You did it excellent. All right, now, uh, Guillermo. I can't believe that Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting and he, we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree, we should help him himself. All right, so we should help him, right? Help him instead. Okay. Very good, thank you. To you both, you did it excellent. Uh, Maritza. Let's do it. Again. Con Marvin. Okay, cool. Let's go. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Uh, he should answer his message after the meetings, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. 
we should help him instead. Okay, very good. We should help him instead. Thank you to you both. Now, uh, who's missing? <laughs> Let me see. Brian? Uh, from Jacqueline, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, I can't believe in Robert is added to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in a meeting. Excellent. That is not polite. <coughs> polite. No. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not call about him. That's not polite either. Agree we should. He in, in text. Instead, okay, very good. We shall help him instead. All right, there you go. Who's missing, guys? Que me falta? Let me see. So everybody has already participated. Okay, that's cool. Let me see. Okay, good. If everybody has already participated, guys, let's go down to the next page all right listen up guys what are we going to do here okay for this couple of minutes por estos siete minutos los voy a mandar a trabajar acá con esto. what is this about if you see here it says provide suggestions about the six situations at work next situations at work okay tienen tres situaciones acá Lo que me van a hacer es que me van a leer esta situación y ustedes me van a dar una recomendación usando should o shouldn't, si es negativa, sobre esto. Por ejemplo, acá en la número dos, bueno, en la número uno tenemos, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. So, what is the suggestion? Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks uh, for something. Right? So, take a look at this one. This is, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Ah, cuando Carlos está enojado o las cosas no salen como él espera, él grita. All right? Shout means gritar. So, ¿cuál es la sugerencia para Carl? Quiero que me la escriban como, como pareja acá, la sugerencia. Okay? Y así mismo, me leen acá y me le escriben una sugerencia. Read here, one suggestion. Okay? Good. Vamos a un par de minutos. Uh, then we're going to come back in here and we're going to check what you did. Okay? Good. Let's go, guys. Then we're going to come back. Let's accept to enter and work in the breakout rooms again. Just, just for doing that, okay? Ah, Susana, are you there? Doris? Oh. All right, so she just entered. What about you, Susana? Are you there? ¿Me escuchas, Susana?
Carlos Carlos should be patient. Carlos should be patient. 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 Carlos should be patient. Be patient. 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 Ah, Carlos Chol should be patient. Patient. Patience. Patience. Teacher, ¿son dos o solo es una? Una por cada uno. Ok, gracias. Right. Give me one okay. second. Give me Number one three. My assistant never uses a solution stop. ¿Cómo se dice, profe? Se solutions solution in her emails nunca ah. usa saludos verdad sí no saluda qué mal criado <laughs> my assistant my assistant show a right writing no right a ver. Did you say something, Cristina? I'm sorry. I was like ah, coughing. Ay, es que, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, solutions. Ajá, uh, uh -huh. solutions. No, pero es que dice. But what? Can't never used it. Ah, uh, no, that's salutation. Uh, salutation. Do, do you know what is salutation? Saludo. Sí, sí, que no saluda en sus correos. That's correct. Okay. Salutation. Okay. Entonces sería my assistant show. Uh, Yo le puse put colocar o oh, use. En vez de put ponga use. Should use. Use. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What is the difference, teacher? ¿Por qué no? Why not? Oops. Put es como poner algo explícito. Y... Poner el vaso sobre la mesa. Exactly. Ah. Use, use es más como, like, something como, como en escritura, right? Intangible, digamos. Exactly, exactly. Use reading. Ok, thank you, teacher. All right. Entonces sería, sí. my assistant should use salutation in her email, emails. Exactly. Use... Uh, no sería use greeting, teacher? No, you can no. use salutation as well. Both ways are possible. Both ways can be possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo me dijo, Carlos? My assistant. My assistant never use a solution in her mail. Did you know what is that? My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Mi asistente nunca usa saludo en sus correos. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la sugerencia para ella? My assistant show mm -hmm. he, he uses the... <laughs> Ajá. Como que debía ser un poco más respetuosa. Ah, ok. My assistant should be more respectful and use salutation in her emails. That's a good suggestion. Ok. Good, good. It is done. It is done, teacher. Too loud, loudly. Mm. Now, give me one second. What do you want to say in number four? Uh, so... Como reírse más bajo. Eh? Ah, so, en ese caso... No, pero es que el audio es más alto. Uh -huh. Están diciendo lo opuesto. Lo opuesto. Okay. ¿no? Yeah. Should smile or laugh
and say it, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, love. Mm. You can use silently. Lower. Use lower. Lower is better. Okay. Uh -huh. Lower. Use a to jokes in the office. Okay, good, good. My assistant shouldn't be to too in okay, shouldn't be. Too informal in her emails. Agreguele otra O a ese tú. Sí, okay. Ahora sí. My assistant shouldn't be too informal in her emails. Mi asistente no debería ser tan informal en sus emails. Ahora sí. Makes sense. Ok. Very good. So I need to check on another group. If they got ready, we're going to go back, okay? Okay. Nice. Y ahí la última donde dice Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She loves very long. Se podría ser Lucy shouldn't Shouldn't say very many many jokes. Should shouldn't tell. No debería decir shouldn't tell many jokes. Jokes. ¿Qué se lo puede escribir? In the office. Good. Good. In the office. In the office. And, sí. Y aparece segundo, she. She. Show. Ella debería hablar más suave, más bajo. Should be. Should speak. Ah, uh, should be. <laughs> <laughs> She should speak um how is it suave or oh, oh, down down I think low low lower L O W E R lower. yeah lower okay. lower she should speak lower mm -hmm. okay You're done with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, en la segunda no falta la última. Porque si le hemos puesto uno, podría ser también. Car, should and shoot, no debería ir tarde. Should and shout, okay, yeah. Should and shout, shout. Mm -hmm. okay. No debería gritar, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. All right, perfect. Now, let's go back to the main section. I need to check on you if you have already finished, okay? See you there, guys. All right, guys, I guess uh, you have already finished, but let's do something, okay? Vamos a hacer algo. Como básicamente terminaron las suggestions, right? Uh, write it down there. Eh, las vamos a dejar como um, el opening para la clase de mañana, okay? Because of the time 
I don't want to have you like for a long time here. So la vamos a dejar como el opening para tomorrow class, right? Eh, esas suggestions que me acaban de escribir ahí, all right? So we're gonna do that for tomorrow. We're gonna try to finish on that, right? And right now I'm just gonna go over the attendance list. And that's like what we are going to be like, like doing and finishing the class on over tonight, okay? Give me one second. But before going up on this, guys, I just need to check on, on, on something with you. Give me one second, please. I need to check something, guys, that I got like not that good. Um, Claudia, is Claudia here? Claudia, 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 Claudia. No, she's not here. Who's Douglas? Douglas. Okay, not here. Evelyn Karina is like, everything is okay. Kenya, uh, is Kenya here? Sí. Kenya, eh, I, I really need Kenya, your, you to finish what you're missing from the platform. Me aparece Kenya que usted Estoy no... Estoy pendiente, estoy pendiente, tiene razón. Yes, eh, necesito que me termine, eh, me termine esas tareas, Kenia, porque sí me aparece, me aparece a cero su, su platform, ¿ok? Entonces, para evitar inconvenientes, eh, sí necesito sus notas, ¿ok? De acuerdo. Oh. Ajá, ok. Uh, I will be waiting for that, ¿ok? Please, porque sí, eh, para así evitarnos cualquier tipo de, de you know, like, inconvenience. So let me see any other person that might be like with inconvenience. Uh, see Claudia Marcela, but she's not here. Doris. 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 Eh, nada más me ha hecho el 80% de, de ambas unidades, Doris. Le faltaría uh, de perdida una tarea por, por, por unidad. Ok, voy a revisar. Yes, porque me parecen 80% en la 1 y en la semana 2, que es la okay. que se terminó la semana pasada, ok? Ok. Yeah, and we need, you know, like, to do that, please. Ok, okay. Evelyn, Karina. Yeah, mi Evelyn, Karina, igual 80%. Eh, le faltaría una tarea más. All right. So, in this case, creo que okay. es like, like the most relevant. Eh, ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque eh, va a llegar un momento en el que eh, las, eh, los de inglés corporativo van a ver eh, esta, estas, estas calificaciones y les van a llamar que porque no han avanzado. Entonces, para evitarnos inconvenientes, eh, sería bueno de que nos vayamos poniendo al día en ese aspecto, guys. Right. Porque sí, y ahora me toca enviar todo este reporte de notas hasta donde están. Así que para evitarnos cualquier tipo de, de inconvenientes o llamadas que, que uh, nos van a incomodar. Así que es better, like, just, just finish up with that, ¿ok? Uh, so I'm going to pass the attendance list, guys. Y tomorrow we're going to finish with that, ¿ok? Uh, Adi Beatriz, she was not here. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, Brian Aldair. Present. Good. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Nice. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Marcela. All right, so she's not here. 
Doris Alejandra. Present. Good. Evelyn Karina. Present. Sure. Excellent. Uh, Graciela Saray. Present. Okay, very good. Mm, Guillermo Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Irma del Tránsito. She was here, but she left. Uh, Jacqueline Yvonne. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Juan Carlos. I am he's there. Um, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Kenia Marisela. Present. Okay, good. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay, good. Marvin Alexander. Present. Nice. Pedro Rigoberto. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. All right, so he was here, but he left. Okay, Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, good. Susana Carolina. Present. All right, perfect. And we got the last one, Teresa Noemi. We just left, I guess. Okay, good. So, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here uh, on this video conference. Let's wait for you tomorrow, okay? I hope you have a wonderful night, guys, and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Okay, good night, everybody. See you. All right, so basically, uh, what we were doing uh, tonight, it was... Um, the introduction to uh, the uses of should and should not, right? In positive and negative statements, of course, let's remember that when we talk about should, basically we're talking about uh, actions that you generally suggest, right? Or advice that you provide to people about something that you consider it is good for them. For example, if you, ask, if you tell a person you should work every day, or you should go to work every day, right? So that's a good suggestion that you might be giving to that person, right? Or like, for example, Mario should go to the meeting, right? So that's a, a suggestion that you are giving or advice that you're giving. Like if I am sick and I'm like <laughs> coughing or doing something like that, right? And somebody tells me, hey, you should go to the doctor. So basically that is advice right and should not remember it that's the negative version right so basically when do you use should not should not is mostly used when you provide suggestions about something that is not appropriated right for example uh i should not speak spanish in the english class right so that's something that I should not do. So that's a suggestion about something that is not good for me to do, right? So, or uh, you shouldn't eat uh, junk food, for example, right? Remember that junk food is something that doesn't bring any beneficial to you, any benefit to your body. So that's something, right, that we are providing that is not really good, right? So basically, so this is like, everything for tonight's class uh see you the next video conference bye bye